Hi everyone, today I am going to talk about aggregate demand. My talk includes definition of aggregate demand, the aggregate demand curve, reasons for downward slope of the aggregate demand curve, the change in the quantity demanded of the real GDP, and the change in aggregate demand. By the end of this presentation, you will be able to do the following. 1. To differentiate between the change in the quantity demanded of the real GDP and the change in aggregate demand. 2. To understand the reasons for downward slope of the aggregate demand curve. Aggregate demand, abbreviated as AD, is the quantity demanded of all final goods on the surfaces, named real GDP at different price levels. AD can be calculated by the following equation. Real GDP equals y equals ad equals c plus i plus g plus nx equals c plus i plus g plus x minus m c equals personal consumption spending i equals gross private domestic investment spending g equals government spending Nx equals net exports of goods and services. X equals exports of goods and services. And M equals imports of goods and services. Aggregate demand is the sum of consumer spending, investment spending, government spending, and exports minus imports. It is a total spending on domestically produced final goods and services in the economy. The aggregate demand abbreviated as AD curve is downward sloping is specifying a negative relationship between the price level as the independent variable and the quantity demanded of real GDP as the dependent variable. As price level increases the quantity demanded of real GDP will decrease and vice versa. When price level increases from B1 to B2, the quantity demanded of real GDP will decrease from Y1 to Y2. This is represented by a movement from point E to point F on the same eddy curve. The reasons for downward slope of the aggregate demand curve are 1. The real wealth effect or the real money balance effect. This effect is explained by the relationship between the price level and consumption. 2. The interest rate effect. This effect is explained by the relationship between price level and the investment. And three, the international trade effect. This effect is explained by the relationship between the price level and the net exports of goods and services. The relationship between the price level and the consumption explains the real wealth effect or the real money balance effect. Real wealth is the value of money in banks, bonds, stocks, and non monetary assets people own measured in terms of what they will buy. As the price level decreases, the real purchasing power of money balances will increase. Money balances are currency and the bank deposits. As the real purchasing power of money balances increases, the real monetary wealth will increase. Therefore, there is an increase in real wealth. If real wealth increases, consumers feel wealthier. Hence, consumers will spend more. The increase in consumer spending means a larger quantity of goods and services demanded. The relationship between the price level and the investment explains the interest rate effect. As the price level decreases, holding all other factors constant, the purchasing power of money will increase. When the purchasing power of money increases, less money needed to buy 
a fixed package of goods and services and thereby increases the domestic saving. If domestic saving increases, the supply of credit will increase. This in turn decreases the interest rate. Hence, banks will provide more loans. Therefore, greater spending on investment goods by households and businesses is achieved. The increase in investment goods means a larger quantity demanded of real GDP. The relationship between the price level and net exports explains the international trade effect. If the price level decreases in the domestic economy relative to the foreign price levels, the domestic goods will be cheaper relative to foreign goods. This makes both the domestic economy and the foreign countries buy more domestic goods. Therefore, imports will decrease and the exports will increase. When imports decrease and the exports increase, net exports will increase. The increase in net exports of goods and services means a larger quantity demanded of real GDP. The change in the quantity demanded of real GDP is caused by a change in the price level. It is shown by a movement along the aggregate demand curve. For example, as price level increases from B1 to B2, the quantity demanded of real GDP will decrease from Y1 to Y2. This change is represented as a movement from point A to point B on AD curve. A change in aggregate demand is a change in the quantity demanded of real GDP as a change in the following factors. Consumption investment, government spending, and net exports. These factors will affect the quantity demanded of real GDP at any given price level. When one of these factors changes, the aggregate demand curve shifts. An increase in aggregate demand is represented by an outward shift of the entire aggregate demand curve. If aggregate demand increases, a greater quantity of real GDP are demanded at each possible price level for the year. AD0 is the original aggregate demand curve. On this curve, at a given price level named B1, aggregate demand is Y1. The increase in aggregate demand at the same price level is represented by a shift of aggregate demand curve to rightward or upward as AD1. For example, if personal consumption spending increases, aggregate demand will increase. When aggregate demand increases, the aggregate demand will shift to the rightward side. A decrease in aggregate demand is represented by an inward shift of the entire aggregate demand curve. When aggregate demand decreases, a less quantity of real GDP is demanded at each possible price level for the year. AD0 is the original aggregate demand curve. On this curve, at a given price level named B1, aggregate demand is Y1. The decrease in aggregate demand at the same price level is represented by a shift of the aggregate demand to leftward or downward as AD2. For example, if personal consumption spending decreases, aggregate demand will decrease. When aggregate demand decreases, the aggregate demand will shift to the leftward side. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back for the next video.